A U.S. Navy statement has stated LCS, or literal combat ship, USS Gabriel Giffords, joined two Japanese maritime self-defense force ships for training in the contested South China Sea on Tuesday. As per the statement, the Navy vessels sailed with the JMSDF's training ships, JS Kashima and JS Shimayuki, to emphasize the importance of communications and coordination while operating together. Expeditionary Strike Group 7 Commander Rear Admiral Fred Catcher said in the statement, The opportunity to operate with our friends and allies at sea is incredibly important for our combined readiness and partnership. According to the official statement, aboard the Japanese ships were newly commissioned JMSDF officers who are underway as part of the service's Training Crews 2020, aimed at offering them the opportunity to learn basic knowledge and skills as professional mariners. Gabriel Giffords, Blue Crew Commander, Commander Dustin Lanero, said in the statement, They are the future maritime professionals that our, U.S., sailors will eventually operate with for years to come. The U.S. and Japanese ships practiced communications and precision maneuvering and conducted a photo exercise as they sailed close to one another. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why joint exercise between USS Gabriel Giffords, JSS Kashima, and JS Shimayuk is a strong message for China. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. China claims almost 90% of the South China Sea through its so-called nine-dash line map. It says it has indisputable sovereignty over the sea. The wide-reaching demarcation, which was rejected by an arbitral tribunal at The Hague in July 2016. Several countries, which include Vietnam, the Philippines, Malaysia, Brunei, and Taiwan, have disputed these claims. The route is significant as about $5 trillion in trade through shipping passes each year. The sea also has alleged 11 billion barrels of untapped oil and 190 billion cubic feet of natural gas. Chinese Navy has heckled vessels of smaller nations like Vietnam several times in the last couple of years. Though China has maintained that it does not intend to pursue militarization in the region, satellite imagery tells a different story. According to the Asia Maritime Transparency Initiative, since 2013, China has militarized 27 features in the region's Spratly and Paracel Island chains in an effort to expand its presence and authority. China has even deployed advanced missile systems in the islands, which includes YJ-12 anti-ship missile as well as HQ-9 surface-to-air missile. It's tried imposing a unilateral decision as per which all ships must ask for permission to sail within 12 nautical miles of the island shores. The U.S. regularly sends warships to carry out freedom of navigation exercise. Japan, in its part, has increased its naval presence in the South China Sea in recent times. A Ministry of Defense white paper in September stated Japan should proactively and independently strengthen its security by increasing its presence in the disputed waters this year. USS Gabriel Giffords is an Independence-class littoral combat ship and was commissioned on the 10th of June 2017. The warship has a length of 127.4 meters, that's 418 feet, and a displacement of 3,104 tons when fully loaded. 
The ship uses two gas turbines and two diesel engines to power four steerable water jets. The USS Gabriel Giffords has a speed of 40 knots, that's 46 miles per hour or 74 kilometers per hour, and has a range of 4,300 nautical miles, 8,000 kilometers or 4,900 miles. The warship can carry up to two fire scouts. USS Gabriel Giffords is armed by a variety of weapons. One BAE Systems Mark 110 57mm gun, one Raytheon C-RAM CIWS close -in weapon system, four 50 caliber guns, two aft, two forward, two 30mm Mark 44 Bushmaster II guns, part of SUW module, 24 AGM 114L Hellfire missiles, planned part of SUW module, or NSMs in deck mounted canisters. Naval Strike Missile or NSM is the most powerful weapon of LCSs, which give them a potent punch and the ability to take on much larger opponents. The missile has a range of 100 miles or 185 kilometers. It's equipped with 276 pounds or 125 kilogram multi purpose blast fragmentation warhead. NSMs are placed on the decks of LCSs through a proprietary canister launcher. JDS Shirayuki is a Hatsuyuki class destroyer of the Japan Maritime Self Defense Force, commissioned in 1982. Shirayuki was ordered as part of the Japan Self Defense Force's 1978 defense estimates as the second ship of the Hatsuyuki class and was laid down at Hitachi's Maizuru shipyard on the 3rd of December 1979. The ship was launched the 4th of August 1981 and commissioned on the 8th of February 1983. The Hatsuyuki class were designed as multi purpose ships with a balanced armament and sensor fit so that the ships could carry out anti submarine and anti surface ship operations while being capable of defending themselves against air attack. A hangar and flight deck are carried for a single helicopter which was initially the Mitsubishi HSS-2, a license-built Sikorsky Sea King, later replaced by Mitsubishi H-60s, licensed Sikorsky S-70s, with the Canadian Bear Trap haul-down system fitted to ease operations of large helicopters. The Octuple Mark 112 launcher for ASROC anti-submarine missiles is fitted forward while additional close-in anti-submarine armament is provided by two triple 324mm torpedo tubes for Mark 46 anti-submarine torpedoes. The initial anti-aircraft armament consisted of a Sea Sparrow surface-to-air missile launcher aft with an OTO Malara 76mm gun forward. Eight Harpoon anti-ship missiles are carried in two quadruple mounts abaft the ship's funnel. The ship has been converted for training, yet it still has its weapon systems intact. JDS Kashima TV-3508 is a training ship of the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force. Built to a unique design during the mid-1990s, Kashima is the flagship of the JMSDF training fleet. The name Kashima comes from the famous Shinto Kashima Shrine in Ibaraki Prefecture, located to the northeast of Tokyo. Kashima is of a unique design referred to as the Kashima Class Cadet Training Ship. She is 143 meters, that's 469 feet long, with a beam of 18 meters, 59 feet, and a draft of 4.6 meters. 15 feet. Kashima has a full load displacement of 4,050 tons. She is powered by a combined diesel or gas Kodog system, which uses two Mitsubishi S16U MTK diesel engines for cruising and two Kawasaki Rolls Royce Spey SM1C gas turbines, providing 26,150 shaft horsepower each. 
a diesel and a gas turbine are connected to each of the two controllable pitch propeller shafts. The ship is armed with a single Otto Breda 76 mm gun and two triple 324 mm torpedo tube sets. Four saluting cannons are also available. According to Japan's constitution, adopted after the Second World War, it is a pacifist country. Article 9 of the Japanese constitution states that the Japanese people forever renounce war and the threat or use of force. But slowly but surely, Japan's way of looking at this is changing in the face of the Chinese threat. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has long sought to enable the Japanese self-defense force to have a more aggressive role. This is mainly due to the activities of China, which are designed to intimidate its neighbors. Japan has even allocated a budget for developing a hypersonic missile, which is seen as a direct response to China's rough behavior. Japan joining hands with the US will be a strong alliance capable of deterring China's belligerent actions. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.